Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, this 1 to 8D multiplexer has been designed using this circuit. So as it is given in the question, this DIN is the input to this demultiplexer, while the S0, S1 and S2 are the selection inputs. And as you can see, this circuit consists of the decoders and the few logic gates. So here, for this circuit to work as a 1 to 8D multiplexer, we have been asked to find what inputs that we need to apply at this P, Q, R and S terminals. So as you can see, this circuit consists of the two decoders and the few logic gates. That means in this circuit, these decoders are used as the demultiplexer. Now on the main channel, in one of the videos of the demultiplexer, I have discussed that how to use the decoder as the demultiplexer. And in that video, I have discussed that to design the 1 to 8 demultiplexer, we require the 3 to 8 decoder. And in that 3 to 8 decoder, we need to apply the input to the demultiplexer at this enable pin. That means in this 3 to 8 decoder, if we apply the input of the demultiplexer at this enable pin, then this 3 to 8 decoder will work as a 1 to 8 demultiplexer. So in this case, as you can see, instead of the 3 to 8 decoders, we have a 2, 2 to 4 decoders. That means in this circuit, these 2 to 4 decoders are used as a 3 to 8 decoder. And this is the truth table of the 2 to 4 decoder. So as you can see, in this 2 to 4 decoder, this enable input is the active low. And similarly, the outputs of the decoder are also active low. It means that when this enable input is zero, then and then only this 2 to 4 decoder will get active. And whenever this enable input is one, then this 2 to 4 decoder will remain inactive. And at that time, irrespective of this A0 and the A1 address lines, this Y0 to Y3 outputs will remain 1. And whenever this enable input is 0, then based on the inputs at this address line, one of the output will become 0. That means whenever both A0 and the A1 inputs are 0, then this Y0 output will become 0. And the rest of the outputs, that is Y1, Y2 and Y3 will remain 1. Likewise, when this A0 and the A1 inputs are 1, then this Y3 output will become 0. So in this way, when the enable input is 0, then based on the inputs at this address line, one of the outputs will become 0. So as you know, in the 3 to 8 decoder, we have a 3 address lines. That means here, we need to use this enable input of both the decoder as the third address line. So before we see that, how to use the enable input as the third address line. First of all, let us see the truth table of the 3 to 8 decoder. So as you can see, this is the truth table of the 3 to 8 decoder. So in this 3 to 8 decoders, if this S2, S1 and S0 are the three address lines, then based on the inputs of these address lines, one of the output will get selected. That means whenever all the three address inputs are zero, then the Y0 input will get selected. And in this case, since the outputs are the active low, so this Y0 output will become 0. Likewise, when all the three address lines are 111, then this Y7 output will get selected. And at that time, this Y0 output will become 0. So in this case, to use this circuit as the 3 to 8 decoder, we need to apply the third address line, that is S2 at this Q input. And for a moment, let's assume that this OR gate is not connected in the circuit. So whenever this S2 input is 0, then this first decoder will get selected. And based on this S1 and S0 input, one of the outputs will become 0. That means here, this S1 selection line should get connected to this S input and this S0 input should get connected to this R terminal. So as you can see, this R and the S terminals are connected to the A0 and the A1 inputs of the mode decoders. So based on the selection inputs S0 and S1, one of the outputs of the decoder will get selected. Now whenever this S2 input is equal to 1, then this first decoder will get disabled. And in case of the second decoder, since it is applied through the NOT gate, so this second decoder will get active. And then based on the selection input S0 and the S1, one of the output will get selected. So for a moment, if we assume that these OR gates are not connected in the circuit, then this is how these 2 to 4 decoders can be used as the 3 to 8 decoder. 
So here we need to use this 3 to 8 decoder as the demultiplexer. And like I said earlier, for that we need to apply the input of the demultiplexer at the enable input. That means here we can apply this DIN input at this P terminal. And we can connect this DIN input to the enable pins of the both the decoders via the OR gates. So we have already seen that when we connect this Q, R and S terminals to this S2, S0 and S1, then how this circuit work as the 3 to 8 decoder. So now let us understand when we connect this DIN input to the P terminal, then how this circuit works as a demultiplexer. So for that, let's assume that this S2, S1 and S0 are 0, 0 and 1. So in that case, this Y1 output will get active. So now, when this DIN input is 0, then the output of this OR gate is equal to 0. And therefore, this first decoder will remain active. And in that case, this Y1 bar output will also remain 0. But whenever this DIN input is equal to 1, then this output of the OR gate will also become 1. And in that case, since the enable input is equal to 1, so this first 2 to 4 decoder will get disabled. And due to that, this Y1 output will become 1. So as you can see, based on the selection inputs, the specific output will get selected. And based on this DIN input, the output will also change. For example, if this DIN input is equal to 0, then this Y1 output will remain 0. And whenever this DIN input is equal to 1, then the output Y1 will also become 1. That means if the DIN input is changes continuously in this way, then this output Y1 will also change accordingly. And based on the selection inputs, we can select the specific output line. So in this way, this circuit work as the 1 to 8 demultiplexer. And in this 1 to 8 demultiplexers, this Y0 to Y7 outputs are the active high. And as we have seen, for this circuit to work as a demultiplexer, these four input terminals should be connected to the DIN, S2, S0 and the S1 inputs. So from this we can say that for the given question, this D is the correct answer.